Hello guys, Colin here. Single coils, P90s and humbuckers. What's the difference? Well, you probably already know that there are different types of guitar pickups and you can probably identify which one's which just by looking at them, but how much do you know about their differences? Let's take a look at each and find out. Single coils were the earliest form of guitar pickups and they've stayed largely unchanged since they were first introduced in the 1930s. They're constructed using six magnetic pole pieces and around 8,000 turns of copper wire all sandwiched between two fibre boards. These, like all magnetic pickups, work by the vibrating strings causing a change to the magnetic field generated by the pole pieces which in turn induces a voltage in the copper coil. This weak electric signal relates directly to the vibration of the strings with respect to the pickup as well as the vibration of the pickup with respect to the strings. Amplified, this signal becomes an audio snapshot of the instrument that produced it. Sonically, single coils are clear, bright and spanky. They have excellent detail, but usually don't produce a very powerful signal. They're also prone to humming, an unavoidable consequence of only having one coil. Single coils are widely preferred for pop, funk, reggae and country music, but they've also been used to great effect in the rock genre. <laughs> P90s were the next logical progression in guitar pickup technology, and while P90s are still technically single coils, they are distinctly different in their construction and sound. They are made from six screw pole pieces, around 10,000 turns of copper wire, and a couple of powerful bar magnets. The significant increase in the number of windings on the coil gives a much more powerful pickup, producing a thick sound which has a tendency to get very hairy or raunchy when the volume's at 10, but cleans up to a more detailed and clear sound when you roll back the control. P90s aren't the prettiest sounding pickups, they get quite nasty, especially with a little bit of dirt, which has made them a popular choice for rockers and punks. <laughs> were hot on the heels of the P90, offering similar power but without the hum that had plagued single coils and P90s alike. Constructed from two 5,000 turn copper coils connected out of phase to cancel the hum, but with opposite magnetic polarity to ensure that voltage was induced in such a way that the signals of the coils summed together. Traditionally, humbuckers feature six screw pole pieces on one coil and six solid slugs on the other, although it is quite common to see many different pole piece variations today. While never as detailed or clear as a single coil, the thick, smooth, precise and noiseless operation of humbuckers makes them ideal for genres of music that use a lot of overdrive or distortion. You'll be hard pushed to find a hard rock or metal player that isn't using humbuckers. <laughs> Thank you. 
Of course, this isn't the end to the vast array of pickup designs that have come out over the years. Miniature humbuckers offer their unique sound and size while retaining all the benefits of the full fat humbucker. Single coil sized humbuckers are a good retrofit to get loud noiseless operation out of guitars which were originally only equipped with single coils. And humbucker sized P90s offer the genuine P90 experience to players who don't want to cut up their humbucker equipped guitars to fit full size P90s and the list goes on and on with various different constructions and combinations. I have other videos on some of the more in-depth science and design of pickups and there'll be a rolling card coming in about now and you can click and see those and I also plan to make some more in the future so if you want to be notified when those come into existence then please hit that subscribe button. Patreon's also there for exclusive secret stuff and there's other videos you might not have seen. But for now, that's all guys so keep it loud and I'll see you later.